It'll be another busy weekend in the Rose Quarter with the Trailblazers' home finale, the Winterhawks' second-round playoff series, and one of the top girls' and boys' high school all-star games in the world. Well, Fox 12's Nick Krupke was at Nike this morning as some of the best seniors in the U.S. and internationally are in town for the 25th annual Nike Hoop Summit. It's the silver anniversary for the Nike Hoop Summit. The Nike Hoop Summit is one of the most unique games ever. You know, McDonald's All-American and Jordan Brand Classic, you know, they, we are sandwiched right in the middle of it. And this is a game that we actually, like, it matters who wins and loses. This 25th game means the world. The first year men's head coach, the world team, Marshall Cho. You know, when you say I'm representing South Korea, I'm representing Jeju Island. The 47-year-old married father of two has planted his feet in the Beaver State. We're on Nike campus. We all read Shoe Dog if we're, you know, into the sneakers. And the first page, Phil Knight says, you know, the trees are always listening and they always have your back. That's how I feel. Like, I've been to Mozambique, Africa, about as far from here as possible. I've been out in the dirt fields. I've seen kids without shoes. I've seen the world and come back. And I come back here, there's trees got my back. This new gig is a breath of fresh air after dedicating the eight previous winters to leading the Lake Oswego High School Boys Program. I saw Don Staley win another national championship. And when she first won her very first one, she said, what is delayed is not denied. And so for me, my first involvement here was 2012. You know, I came out as a support staff member when there was only one or two guys moving boxes, picking up kids from the airport. To start there, take 12 years, and there's been a long delay, but I was faithful to it. My family supported me, that this was my path. And to be doing it, on, especially on the 25th anniversary, representing the world, trying to be a bridge from for us in Portland, Oregon, to the rest of the world, east to Asia, east to Asia, but really west to us, and then going out to Africa. It's just a full moment uh, that I couldn't just, I couldn't have imagined it, and I'm just super grateful. Grateful for the goods of leading the world's best 19 and under high school hoopers in the city of Roses. I immigrated. I'm an immigrant. I moved to the United States when I was 1986. I was 10 years old. Centennial Elementary School, Mrs. Kingman was my third grade teacher. You know, teachers in this state, you know, they poured into my life all throughout, all the way through University of Oregon. Ed Whitelaw was my professor, economics. You know, he inspired me to join Teach for America, go be a school teacher in New York City, South Bronx. So I've represented Oregon domestically, overseas, and to do it in our home means everything to me. It'll be a double feature on Saturday at the Moda Center. First, the women's game here, number two of that, the USA against the world and the men at 7 o'clock. Now at Nike World Headquarters in Beaverton, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon. Here we go.